Uh, shutouts obviously don't happen too often in college football these days. Can you can you remember your your last shutout that, that you were a part of? <laughs> you know what? I can't. I can't. I mean, the, the uh, obviously the name of the game is to hold them to one less point than your offense scores, and so that's the uh, that's the starting point. But uh, uh, no, kids played hard and uh, gave us a chance to, to win the game, and that's how it ended up. So uh, good good starting point, obviously. Is it, was that kind of the, the ideal game plan playing out where, where you guys were really kind of hitting your gaps well and forcing him to, to try to throw the ball? I mean, he couldn't throw too, too well, and you guys were hitting all, hitting him a lot behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the, the thing that we always try to do is we kind of structure our defense to, to penetrate in our front. And so, uh, you know, everything we do, and, that, and that's a week in and week out basis. That's not an individual game plan for an opponent. That's, that's you know, like anything, you kind of have to have a, a, a style of play or if there's a calling card, if you will, and that, that, that's what... Uh, we we attempt to be sometimes obviously you do it better than others but we're very pleased in the front yesterday in terms of uh, you know we keep talking about disruption plus production and, and uh, we certainly have both and so that that's a that's a, a real good starting point for those guys up front and you see the impact they can have Hercules was was especially disruptive in the, in the first half what was he doing well to, to get through and, and make make it hard on that yeah guy? just just staying low playing fast you know uh, and, and everything's within the, the, the structure of the scheme. Which is always a big deal, you know. If, if uh, um, you know, do, you, you, you find success, uh, uh, you know, doing things the right way. Like I said, you know, you're, you're watching the football, you're, you're you're doing a good job getting off the ball, and then as you get in the backfield, it's one thing to get in the backfield. You also have to have a plan for how you're going to finish. You know, what, what are you chasing after? And ultimately, you're chasing after a football. So uh, he he has. Uh, uh, has done that over the years, and uh, he, he did a nice job last night. There, there, there were a few times he kind of slipped away from you guys. What, 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 what do you think could have been better I mean, in a shutout? There's the, you wouldn't think that there's a lot, but I'm sure from your standpoint, you, you saw a bunch of things last there, there's night. There's always things that you, that you can do better on, and, and there, there's plays that may end up, uh, you know, the, the result ends up favorably for us, that you still find two or three uh, hopefully not too many more than that. Uh, you know, mistakes that, that could could otherwise be be corrected. You know, sometimes it's, it's poor eyes. A uh, couple situations where it, you know, one of which was a quarterback scramble in terms of one of the long runs. And we got to do a better job of that. Part of that is, is guys getting in there and their pass drops. You know, you, you spread the field in a certain way, and your pass drops would also put you in a situation where you're able to leverage the football at the quarterback scrambles. Well, if you got guys chasing after, uh, you know, a phantom run play, then all of a sudden you're. Uh, uh, you know, not not as supported defensively, both versus the pass, and if the thing ends up scrambling, uh, and then one one of the uh, uh, you know, dive options uh, didn't do a very good job of uh, uh, securing him. So, um, in any event, is it correctable? Sure, it's correctable, but uh, you don't get redos either. So, um, but that, that that's what it amounts to is you know, got guys within the scheme making sure that they they understand their individual responsibilities on each and every play, and then it's amazing when you don't execute those how. Uh, quarterbacks or running backs or, or, or wideouts are, are able to, to expose you. Obviously, the, for the first game for, for Coach Phelps with you guys, his group had a lot of success. How happy are you to see him succeed? And did that kind of look familiar to what you guys saw in, in the uh, Holiday Bowl with what his group did to you guys? You know what? I haven't studied you know what they did to, to us in the Holiday Bowl, um, but uh, been, been obviously very pleased with Coach Phelps. We're, we're glad to have him as a member of our staff and. Uh, um, I think you know his buy into what we're doing and, and, and marrying up you know his philosophies has been uh, has been seamless and so uh, you know like anything we'll we'll make sure he uh, has those guys uh, productive uh, uh, every week and I know that's his uh, his goal as well. As, as good as Jalen was for you guys last year, is, is it kind of surprising to see a guy get his, his first pick? The, First game of the next season after well, yeah, that you know, productive. Well, yeah, the, you know the, the one thing from you know with, with some of those, uh, especially the interceptions, is you know the opposing team kind of gets a vote, you know where they're directing the football, and, and uh, they're not obviously trying to throw the ball to you. Um, so th there's uh, uh, you know instances where you know if uh, uh, you came down with a couple a couple of balls hit his hands last year that I wish you know he would have came down with, he wishes would have came down with, and then and there's other times that. Uh, and sometimes your coverage is too good, then they, they, they decide not to throw it to you. So, uh, no, but I was glad to, to see him get that first pick. I was glad we got the one takeaway. A little disappointed we only had the one. Uh, that's, that number's obviously got to go way uh, go way up moving forward. But, uh, yeah, I was glad to, to, to see him uh, uh, get his first. Have you guys started looking at Boise State at all, or does that usually start on Monday? And then no, we already started looking at them. You know, we, we tried to flush the uh, previous game, win or loss, uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so that we can move on, and they, they obviously uh, have been doing what they've been doing for a number of years at a very, very high level. One of the most successful programs in college football. Um, they, they, they have their system that they believe in, 
Uh, certainly it gave us fits and they were able to, to uh, find success against us a year ago. So we know the challenge that's in, in front of us um, and uh, um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we started prep tonight and we'll, we'll continue tomorrow. Of course, they lose a pretty productive rusher for, from last year to the NFL. What, what else is different about them, and have they changed their offense at all, or is it still kind of what you guys? Saw yeah, last still, year? still studying, but 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 you know, based on what I've seen and, and having played them over the years, they they uh, um, they believe in what they do. Right? You know, they, it's it's a uh, you know, plug and play from the standpoint of it's next man up. You know, one guy graduates, and then they they, they seem to find the perfect fit. Uh, uh, you know, for for that that role. Uh, you know, whether it's a running back, wide out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they've had good quarterback play, uh, seems like forever, you know. And, uh, and obviously, Rippon's one of those guys. So, um, no, uh, ma- major, major challenge, and uh, they pose a, a real physical threat with uh, with speed on the perimeter. Mm-hmm.